Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I'll be talking about a checkbox that says remember login when you try to log in on most DNN websites out there. People come to me all the time saying, hey, Ederson, I checked that box, but when I came back later, you know, a few hours later, I'm no longer logged into the site. So it keeps logging me out. So we're gonna have a look how we can address that and make that checkbox work for you, for your website longer. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them, I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. So this is what I'm talking about. If you click login on a DNA 9 website and earlier versions of DNA as well, you're going to be able to see on most of them, remember login checkbox. And I can check that box here. I'm going to log in as my host account. This is saved on my browser already. I'm just going to log in. Now, the first thing that you're going to address is what if that checkbox is not showing up there? Well, you may want to check and by default it is checked, but you may want to check if it's not showing up. You may want to go to settings, security, and then the very last tab where it says more and the very last, last uh, sub tab where it says more security settings. And we have here that the option, the toggle that says enable remember me on login control. If you turn this off, that checkbox will no longer be there. Maybe that's what you want to accomplish. Maybe you don't want that there. Maybe you, your site requires a lot of security and you want to disable that. So to disable, very simple. You just toggle it off. But if you want to keep it enabled, you know, just keep it on. That's, that's just it. That's how you show or hide the checkbox. Now, this does not control how long you will be able to stay logged in. This is controlled from a setting within the web config file. Now, just want to show something quickly here. Ideally, we could reach the web config file by going to settings and then config manager. And then we could select the web config from here and we could look through and try to find form. We need to find the keyword form here. What I've tried, I've tried to use the find on the page from the browser. The thing is that that does not work inside this content here. I've tried that on, on, on Google Chrome, on Edge, which is the browser I'm using here. So you cannot find it here. So it it's, you know, I would, I would think that it's not super useful here. Of course, you can make changes here, but you cannot find entries easily here and you have to keep looking, which is not good. So I would much rather open the web config on a text editor. I'm using here Notepad++, but in text editor, and then you can just use the find function of that editor and find the keyword, look for the keyword forms. And I can find it right here. Here is the forms entry. And what we have to manipulate to increase how long we will be able to stay on, even after we close the browser, is by manipulating the timeout setting. Six by default means 60 minutes. That's the reason why, even if you check the remember login, 
But if you close the browser and come back after while, after an hour, it will be logged out already because of this timeout. So to increase how long someone can stay in, even though they may have closed the browser, you have to increase this number. And this is a measurement in minutes. So I'm just going to give you a quick example in case you want to, let's say, give the user uh, seven days to be, to be able to stay connected, to be able to stay logged in and not be prompted for login anymore. You can just do something like, you know, 60 minutes times 24 hours times seven days equals to 10,080 minutes. So you just have to replace 60 by this number and save it and put it back if you have downloaded from FTP, put it back on, on the root folder of your website. So that's basically it. That's how you can increase how long the remember login control will allow you will allow the site to remember you. That's about it. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.